All right, everybody. Let's get started. Okay. Ready? I'm missing somebody. Feet together, tension. All right, inlock fingers, roll your wrist, one ankle. Change direction, huh? Oh, the monk spade? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Switch feet, press on the other fingers. Yeah, I, we made those. Yeah, one of the students, she welds. So she welded the, the fixtures and I put together the sticks and I, I um, turned the wood for the, the handles, the, the little guards. Place the hands on the knees, roll the knees in and out. Um, it's like a shovel and the monks would use it to uh, do different things. Some of it is like a garden tool. They say the monks would take the, uh, the shovel, they would travel and the rings would make noises and that's how you know the monks were coming. Um, so if you wanted to give them a donation or you know an offering or there's a couple different things but the other thing too is if, if they came across somebody who or if they did like a ceremony for a funeral they would bury the person with a shovel. So there's other things that could be done. Place feet together, roll together. And uh, the crescent moon was used as like a, to like break roots, to dig the holes, and then they would use the shovel part to dig the, the rest out. Or the rocks in the mountains, they would crack the, the, the gravel or something out. Yeah. Step out, roll the waist. Change direction, roll the other way. Come back to the center, roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Roll your arms forward. Change direction. Everybody has to go fight, so you know farmers are taking their pitchforks and stuff. Like that. Yeah. Soldiers were fighting with those in the sea, and I was wondering, like, did the soldiers use them, or is it just more weapons? It's not really the soldier kind of weapon. If they were to use it, it would be something like a spear, or um, the other ones like the the pudao or the kwandao, okay. which are more versatile and more deadly, I would say. This is more of a, in a movie, would be more of like a novelty. <laughs> yeah, because it's different and looks cool. And, but in, in reality, they would probably use something like a out because it's faster, has a bigger blade. It's like a, it's like a broadsword with a long handle, you know? So in a way, it's actually more dangerous. All right, relax the arms, roll your head. Change direction, roll the other way. Relax the neck, shake it up. All right, we're gonna reach down and grab our right foot. It's gonna hold for a few seconds. Ready, E, R, San, Su, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. Switch, other side. Reach down and grab the foot. Ready, E, R, San, Su, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Joe, sure. Come back up, bring the foot in front this time. Reach down, grab the toe, ready. E, R, Sun, Su, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Joe, sure. 
come back up, switch legs. Again, reach down, grab your toe, ready? E, R, Sun, Si, Wu, Lia, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. Come back up. We're gonna grab the ankle and pull the leg behind you, ready? E, R, Sun, Si, Wu, Lia, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. Switch, other side. Ready? E, R, Sun, Si, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. One more time, switch. Ready? E, R, Sun, Si, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. Switch, one more time. Ready? E, R, Sun, Si, Wu, Liao, Chi, Ba, Jiao, Sure. Shake it out. We're gonna step out about two shoulder width apart. You're gonna bring both hands over on the right side. We're gonna circle down. Turn, lift up, push off the left, back over to the right, and again, sink into the legs. Come back, turn, lift up, back out, and down. Turn to the side, lift up, push, out and down. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna change the direction. You're gonna bring the hands back down. Circle out, turn, down and out. Breathe in as we come back. Breathe out as you come down and forward. We're gonna switch sides, lift the hands up over from the right side, out to the left, pull back in, turn, lift up, out and down. We're gonna change the direction, drop the palms down, circle forward, out, pull back, down, forward and out. We're gonna bring the hands inward. You're gonna circle behind you and lift up. Hands come down, in, lift up, and back. You're gonna come back in, you're gonna push both hands over to your right side. Hands will pass by each other, turn to the left side. We're gonna return back to the center. You're gonna rotate both palms up, circle down and out. Breathe in as they come up, breathe out and down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna come back to the center as we circle the hands forward, out, down. Bring the feet together, breathe in, breathe out and down. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, um, I know we've been working on this Chen Pao Chuan, so let's get started. We're gonna run through that and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. All right, facing the mirror, feet together. Um, as always, breathe in through your nose. 
As you exhale out, sink down into the legs. Step out with your left foot. You're gonna bring your hands up, down. We're gonna push with our legs, circle, come up to the left, turn to the right, shift the weight to your right leg, left leg will sweep. Step forward, out, roll the arms. Come up underneath, breathe in. Breathe out as you bring the hand down. Lift the right hand, right leg up, drop. Open the hands, turn to the left. Push off the left leg as you separate. Push off the right leg, bring the right hand back in, make an X. Step out with that right foot. Come in, shoulder, elbow, palm. Left hand comes along the waist as you push and sink into the legs. Reach with two hands, pull down, turn, lift up. Come out, six ceiling, four closing. Pull the right hand to the stomach. Pull the left hand to the stomach as the right hand comes out, crane's beak. Left hand, left leg will come in. Step out, turn to the left. Circle the left hand up, out, forward as it comes down and sink into the legs. You're gonna bring the hands down, left hand's gonna come down, right hand's gonna come down as you lift the left hand up, throw. Step one, two, clear down by your knee, turn and punch. Pull to the left, circle the hands back up, lift, turn, throw, step clear down by the leg, come up by the shoulder, slide the right foot, push. Step left, right, come up to the center, breathe in, down, Buddha pounds the mortar. Step out, turn to the left, right hand clears down by the leg, circle up, Left hand's gonna clear down by the leg. Right hand, left hand make a fist as we turn. Warrior rides on horse. You're gonna turn, punch. Step right, left, strike down. Turn, lift the left leg up, coming down. Lift the right hand, right leg up as you clear. Punch. Come back around, step, elbow. Step out with your right foot, turn. Step back, step out. Come back in, step forward, left foot, turn. Step one, two, come back in. Circle the hands underneath, come in, forward and push, one. Come in, push two. Come in, push three. Right hand circles, left hand hooks, sweep, push forward. Come in, skip push forward, come in as you skip, push, circle the arms, come underneath, strike up, clear as you come all the way around, conceal, parry, and punch. <laughs> You're gonna come back in, bring in the wrist together, lift, turn, throw the arms down, come back in, down, come in, down. Bring the hands back in, lift your right leg up, turn, Circle down, one, two, three. Come back with the knuckles, turn. Lift the right hand, right leg up, out. Pull back, roll down. Turn, punch. You're gonna circle back, block one, two, and down. Push off the right leg, turn as you block, chop right hand. Left hand comes to the waist as you step forward. Step back with your left foot. Step back right, step out left. Lift the right hand, right leg up, drop. Step out with your left leg, circle. Step out left leg as you bring both hands up, in, down. Push off the right leg, turn, kick with your left leg as you strike with the arms, come in. Kick right leg as you strike with the arms. Right hand, right leg comes underneath. Hook, turn, throw, clear. Pull to the waist and punch. <laughs> You're gonna slide your right foot back, sweep with the left leg. Sweep right leg. Hands gonna clear down by the knees. Step, pull to the waist and punch. You're gonna come back in. Sorry, punch. Come back in circle, strike one,
pull down, strike two, clear, pull to the waist, conceal parry, and punch. You're gonna come back in, strike down, punch one, two, step, one, two, three, turn to the left as you block, ah, strike, lift the right hand, right leg up, again, turn, pull down, strike, roll the arm, come down, one, two, three, circle, pull to your waist as you punch down, turn to the right, grab, one, two, come back in, push, strike with the elbows out, come back, come up to the center, and down. Lift the right hand, right leg up, drop. Hands are gonna come out, forward, and down. Bring the feet together, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, any questions? A challenge ending where we started? Um, there are ways to do that. Um, sometimes I get pushed, so I, I end up moving over some. Um, there's a few movements that kind of like give you a little extra, you could say. So like, like these movements were in here. Sometimes you'll just take a small step, but in reality you wanna push, push, push. When this comes around, this is coming in. So that balances out. Because what'll happen is most people will kind of go one, two, three, but when they turn, they'll make a bigger motion here. So they'll travel further down that way. Um, the sweeps sometimes will carry you more that direction because from here they'll slide and then they'll go here, and then they'll go here, and then they're further out. When you do the sweeps, they should actually, you punch, you should actually bring this to where you go, one here to here so we can come back in. So it cuts it back some. Little things. I, I will work that more once everybody remembers the form. Once we have the form down, then uh, we should start and end in the same spot, yes. Okay, uh, what parts of the form feel comfortable right now? How about after this? We come in and we strike, is that pretty good? Um, let's start from there. We just finished that, right? Any questions, real quick? No, okay, so let's start from there. If you guys need water, feel free to get water. Um, strike one, two, three. We're gonna circle out. Turn, bring the right hand on top. Right hand, right leg are gonna come up as you shift the weight to your left leg. Lift, down, step, throw to the side. You're gonna turn that fist as you rotate. Lift your left leg up, roll down. Right hand, right elbow, clear, punch. Come back, block one, two, and down. Push off the right leg, right hand's gonna open as you block. One, two, chop. Step right foot, come up. Step back with the left foot. Step back, right foot. Step back, left foot, lift that right leg up, down. Circle, step one. Come in, come back. You're gonna kick out with your left leg as you turn, side kick, come in, lift, turn, side kick, come underneath, quarter turn as you throw, step out as you clear, pull to the waist, punch. Sweep, you're gonna turn, come around, one. Shift, two, hands will clear, Pull to the waist, conceal parry, and punch. And you're gonna roll the arms, come underneath, throw to the left. Pull down, switch feet, strike to the right. Come down as you clear, pull to the waist, and punch. You're gonna come back in with your right hand, right 
foot, Buddha pounds the mortar, step, punch low, punch up, step, punch three times. One, two, three. Pull to your left as you block. You're gonna hop back, strike. Pull down, lift that right leg up. You're gonna turn, hop back, strike. Lift that left leg up. One, two, three. Roll, punch down. Lift the hands up as we turn. Step left, right, come forward, come back up. Buddha pounds the mortar. Lift the right hand, right leg up, drop. Hands are gonna come forward, out, and down. Bring the feet together. Breathe out. Okay, cool. Any questions? Okay, let's do it again. We're gonna do the same thing. Do you think we can go a little further? Is that a good starting point from that point? That's good for you. Okay, it's not that much further, so. Uh, all right, let's give it a shot. So we just uh, came out as we strike down, roll, elbows, knuckles, turn, right hands on top, left hands on the bottom. These kind of line up on your center line, lift the right leg up, drop, step, throw to the side, pull that right hand to your side as you lift your left leg up, left hand circles down. Lift that right shoulder, right elbow, right fist, clear, drop, punch. Block right, left, and down. Push off the right leg, right hand's gonna come out. One, two, chop. Left hand's gonna grab the waist as you step out with your right foot. Step back left, one, step back right. Step out left, lift that right leg up, down. Step out with your left leg. Step back. Step out, hands come up. In, down, push, turn, side kick. Turn. Come in, lift, turn, side kick. Right hand hooks underneath, quarter turn, throw, clear. Pull to the waist and punch. You're gonna slide your right foot back. Turn, sweep, one, shift, two. Hands will clear down by the knees. Step out as you clear. Pull to the waist, conceal, parry, and punch. We're going to come back, circle the arms, throw to the left, pull down, switch feet, strike to the right, come in, clear. Step out with that left foot, punch. Come back in with your right foot, hit. Step out, right foot, strike, down, one. Step two, step three, one, two, three. Turn to the left. Pull in, strike. Bring the hands down, lift the hands back up, step, turn to the right. Come in, strike. Lift that left leg up, step, coming down, one. Push two, three. Circle left, right, out, down. Pull the right elbow up, hands line up as you pull to your right. Step left, right, come back, push off the right leg, elbows out. Turn, right hand's gonna come underneath, come up through the middle, down, up, down. Hands come out and close. Okay. Uh, another question about some of my curves. I think I was um, making too much distance too. Yeah. So for example, when we're right here. Yes. Uh, none of us stay in this place. We're not going home. No, no. You want to almost stay in the same spot. Yeah. So when this is here and this is coming back, this right foot will come down, out. This will come back in, come up, 
punch. So all that's in the same spot. And you come down, push. Yeah. Yeah, so where my foot was when I was here, I'll step back to that position and then come forward. And then one more spot is going to be the second side here. Okay, so we kick this hooks, as this hooks turn throw, just drop straight down. And then you'll pull. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. It's a hard move. <laughs> it's a hard move, that kick and then hook. So like if you imagine like you're kicking, this hook is actually hooking the other leg. So if you were kicking somebody, you would kick one leg and hook the other leg out. Or vice versa, you can kick through it and then pull that leg back as you push their head or their chest. Yeah. Okay. One more time together. We'll do it from the very beginning all the way through. And then I want you guys to try it on your own a couple times. I'm forcing you guys to use your memory. All right, so let's see if we can actually start and end in the same spot. This will be a, a fun experiment. I'll try not to move too much, like, because sometimes I, people get closer to me and I start switching or I move around the room. All right, so ready? Breathe in through the nose. As you breathe out, sink down into the legs. Step out with your left foot. Circle the hands up down. Push with the legs. Lift up to the left. Turn. Shift the weight to your right leg. Step forward with that left foot. Come up to the middle. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift that right leg up. Drop. Open the hands. Turn. Push off the left leg. Lazily tying the coat. Bring the right hand back in. Make the X. Step forward, come in, shoulder, elbow, palm as the left hand comes along the waist and push. Reach with two hands, pull down, turn, lift up, come in, out, six ceiling, four closing. Pull the right hand to the stomach, pull the left hand to the stomach as the right hand makes a crane's beak. Sweep, step, turn to the left, circle up, out, and down. You're going to throw the left hand down, up, step one, two, clear down by the knee, punch, pull to the left, lift that right hand, right leg up, turn, throw, step out as you clear, come up by the shoulder, slide the right foot, push, pivot, one, two, come up, down, hands will come out, turn to the left. Right hand clears down by the knee, lift up. Left hand's gonna clear down by the knee, turn and pull. Push off the right leg, step one, two. Come up, turn, clear, punch. You're gonna bring the right leg up as we turn, strike with the elbow. Step out, turn to the left, step back. Step out, come in. Turn, one, two, three. You're gonna come back, come underneath, lift, push forward. One, two, three. We're gonna turn, scoop, sweep, push. Skip, push. Skip, push. Circle the arm underneath. Hit, clear as you throw. Pull to the shoulder, waist, punch. From here, we're gonna come back in. Lift, turn, throw the arms. Like a big whip, come back in, lift up, down, turn. Step, come down, elbows, knuckles, turn. Lift the right hand, right leg up, drop. Throw to the side, pull back, lift that left leg up, clear. 
punch. Come back in, one, two, drop down. Push off the right leg, turn, step back, left foot, chop. Step forward, one, step back. Come in, lift that right leg up, drop. Step out, one, come in, come back. Push off the right leg, turn, side kick, come in, lift, side kick, right hand, right leg comes underneath, throw, clear, pull to the waist, punch, turn, you can slide this foot, sweep one, sweep two as you clear, lift that right leg up, pull to the waist and punch. You're going to lift your right leg up again, circle, strike, pull down, switch feet, strike, clear, pull to the waist and punch. From here, come back in, hit, punch one, two, one, two, three. You're going to turn to your left as you block, pull in, strike, lift up, block, come in, strike, lift your left leg up, come forward, elbow, one, two, three. You're going to roll, punch, turn, pivot, one, two, come back, come up through the center, lift up, hands are going to come out, down, feet together, breathe out and down. Okay, right where you started? <laughs> huh? Yeah. It's okay. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. It's, uh, it's sometimes hard to place, especially there's so many moves. And this one's very dynamic because it's like, it's not just one pace, you know? So some of the movements, like the sweeping motion, a lot of times if you can't get down that low, you can't turn yet very well, it makes it more difficult to perform. Um, all right, let's try it. I want you guys to practice it on your own and uh, we'll go from there, okay guys? All right, ready? Break. Try it on your own, no pressure. I wanna watch though, it's gonna be a little bit of pressure. All right, give it a shot. Hey, sir. that move again. <laughs> uh, where were we at? I guess this one. Do this move. Can I see that? Sorry, I know I kind of started you in the middle. Here. Down. Boom. No, I, that's before. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the idea is you clear. This comes along the side. My wrist is gonna be up, elbow up, knuckles gonna be out. You wanna turn the body. As you turn the body, rotate the knuckles out. So it's like it's, it's hitting. So turn. Yeah, even higher. What am I doing that's not that? You're not turning your body. 
is one thing. You're, you're kind of already here and you're here and you're going like that. And what I want you to try to do is wind it up. So now when you, when you go, this is already in position. All you're going to do is you're going to pull this down and turn the body in. Let it come out and then back in with your body. So, so it's like if I was to throw my shoulder, my waist would move first. Yeah, there you go. So clear, come up higher, turn. Yeah. You're kind of keeping it real tight, it's okay, but you want to be able to hit and then back. So as we come in and then pull. Do it again. Okay. So we clear. Left hand's in front of the face. Come up. See my left hand stays up? I don't bring it down until I start moving. And it stays by the elbow. Yeah, that's better. Fist here. So this is good. Block more in front of the face. Come in, keep that in front of your face. When you turn, do that. And then pull. Yeah, so you're already there. Better. More body. More body, okay. More body if you can, but it's better. All right, thank you. Yeah. I know it's, a, it's a, like a small thing. I can do it again, do it again. <laughs> You're here, this hand should be blocking high. Yes. There you go. Yeah. What, is, what you're doing is, imagine you have somebody's sleeve and you're, you're pulling, right? You're coming down. This is grabbing, this holds them in position. It's grabbing the other arm. And you're, in theory, you're striking. So they're straightening your arm out. You're bah, hitting. So like if you were holding my arm, you would pull and this would actually hit here, right? But you want to think you're here, you grab, this comes up <laughs> and then pull that arm you have and that goes into your next move. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, after here, here, and then three punches. Yes. And then you come like this, right? Uh, let's do that together. Okay. So we hit, punch, two, three. Right foot steps forward. One, two, three. And you're going to pull. As you pull, not just down, but down, turn. You're gonna turn back, lift the right hand, right leg up. Turn, pull down, strike back. That help? Okay. You got this. I believe in you. It's not down up though. Okay. One, two, three, right? Yeah. Pull down, turn. Yeah. So the idea is you're you got an arm, you're pulling them down, first thing. As you pull down, turn to the side. Yeah. And then am I continuing to turn that way? Correct. In reality, you're not really jumping and spinning around. The person's not going to be flung around like that. What's really happening is you're stepping behind and you're pulling them. But the action is a pull. So as we're, where are we at? One, two, three, right? Pull, use the body, turn. And then when you get to here, finish, pull. And then while you're wound up, come back with your waist. Let your shoulder, elbow, everything come out and then switch. Again, grab, step, pull, come down, turn your torqued, push with your right leg, out. Yeah. Okay? Big step. Okay. It's going to take practice, yeah. but I think you got it. Give it a shot. You have a question? Earlier. Punch. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. So we just cleared. We punched. This is a weird move for me, too, when I first learned it, actually. Pull. It's like a grab. 
clear. Hold to the waist, punch. I can get in front of you. The direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we cleared. Punch. So hands are gonna come over to this side. Yeah, so here, here. Yeah, here, here. Here, grab, press. Yeah, so punch. Okay. Now, if I'm punching this way, one, two. All right, so if you punch, circle. Punch. Now lift the right leg up. Step. Turn. Shoulder. Waist. Pull down, grab left, right, pull, body's turned, use the waist. Come back and clear. Punch. Come in. And so on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, drop down. Yeah, okay, okay. Do that again, we're here. So the idea is you're grabbing. You're pulling down, turn the waist to the right. So see, I'm just turning my waist. And now turn back. Yes, okay, that was perfect, do it like that. You gotta switch now, this is the hard part. Right, it's weird. Drop. So when you drop, cat stance. Pull, push off the waist, turn back. Bah. Come up, drop, punch, come in, down. So the right leg first. Yes, that is right. Drop, cat stance, strike. Left leg, cat stance, right. Pa. Clear. Pull, punch. Okay. It's not an easy move, so I understand. That whole sequence that I had, not issues, but like I would get it confused with the other one, with this one that spins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's new, it's foreign, it's different. A different style of Tai Chi sometimes makes it weird too. Yeah, even this one is different than the other forms because it has that, I don't know, different energy yes. to it, you know, so no worries. But once you get the, these three, you get the long form, um, the Pao Chuan and the 18, you pretty much have a lot of what the Chen is like. But then there's a new frame. A new frame has more like circles that turn different directions and, and turns and it's in a whole nother day. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. This is the older style right now. This is the old frame. The new frame is nice, but I don't know if I'm gonna teach it because people are still working on the old frame. <laughs> we'll see, maybe I will. It'll be fun, something different. I just, you lost it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I just the sweeps. The sweeps, clear, then, punch. You did this one. Pull. Replace the right foot with the left. Replace the right foot with the left. Punch. Lift the right leg up. Drop. Punch. Punch. One, two, three. Pull. <laughs> Turn back. There you go. Turn. So right there, you're using a lot of arms. Okay. Um, yeah. When you turn around, pull the waist. So once you get to here, push with his right leg, like a big whip. So as you pull, pull waist, then the arm. And keep it loose, like a whip. So when it comes out, it's like almost like your hand's not even a fist yet, and then when you end it, 
tighten the fist and then relax. So it's literally like a whip, like it's bah, and then relax. <laughs> Loose. That's better. It's not easy. No. It's not easy. It took me a little while too. I need to teach everybody how to do the whip. <laughs> I can tell when I don't have it. Yeah. There's a, a twist. <laughs> and then pop. Yeah. It's practice. A lot of practice. You okay? Yeah, I can get the form. Okay. Um, you know, honestly, this thing is... I just that have one. no idea what I'm doing other okay. than just mimicking like that. Okay. That, honestly, is one of the weirdest moves. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see if we can do that one. Sorry. So... Let's try that together. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so where does it start from? The chop, punch, chop. Where's the punch? Come in. So lift, drop. As you drop, turn. See how I'm turning my waist? Yeah, my shoulder, my waist. This is gonna pull out. So there's a motion where it goes left, right, left, right. Yeah, I know, it's, it took me a while to get it to. Come back in. So you're sinking, step out, push. See how I'm turning my waist? One, two, and then I full extend at there and back. And what you're doing is you're grabbing, you're coming down, you're stepping, you're coming in with your shoulder, you're pulling their arm down so you can strike and pull back. So it's like a... <laughs> you're pushing, throwing. It's technically a throw. It's, you're holding them here, you're hitting, and you're kind of dumping them over your leg. Okay. So it's kind of like parting wild horse's mane, right. but you're, you're coming down. Well, application-wise, you'll end kind of like that, because you're pulling them, right? But the pull should have enough force to turn the person is the idea. And application-wise, you wouldn't go down the room and take this, take this, and then another person would come and you go, yeah. right? So what happens application-wise, you would grab and you would come into them, <clears throat> I see. and you would kind of bump them and push. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So as it's coming in, Step, kind of roll that shoulder, turn your waist, left, right, left, right. Come back in. Come in. As it comes back, you're gonna lift that right leg up, change the direction. Down, roll, come in, come in. It's like a back. Okay. Okay, good. It's, it's not easy though. That's a, it's a really weird move, I'll be honest. So, question two? After, after the, the, the spinny thing. Spin part, yeah. Okay. After that? The last spin part? Yeah. You yeah. come around. Ba. This left hand circles. Elbow. Oh, there it is. Elbow. Push elbow. Roll. Pull to the waist, pivot the right foot, turn. One, two, come back. I don't know if it goes straight to it. I think I actually do that, yeah. And close. Okay. Looks like it's about the rain, huh? At the very beginning? Yes. So, punch, and then bring the very... 
Okay, from here. One, two, three. Clear. Punch. Pull. Right hand, right leg will sweep. Turn. Step back. Clear. Block. Shoulder. Slide. Push. Turn. Yeah. Together? No, no, you want to do it together? Um, so you got here, you got here, this is what you forgot to do. As soon as you turn, throw the arms first, step out, then clear, block, push. Yeah. yeah. You're on the right track. You did the move, but you didn't do this. <laughs> then it comes back down, yeah, and you're gonna push. So, when I go from here, yes. does it just go straight into the elbow, or am I missing something in there? Um, so you're here, mm -hmm. circle, ah. grab, down. Yeah. Then that, yeah. You're, you're right, you're right. You're on the right track. That's right. <laughs> now, what is the move after this one? So you pull, turn. Come back. Hands come forward. Okay. Any other questions real quick? No? All right, everybody. That's going to be it for today. Um, does it feel like it's getting a little better? Okay. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If I, if I have a, stru a structure like this in class, um, I want to try to help everybody if it's possible. So we'll try to work on that. All right, guys. Feet together. Attention. Salute. All right, good job. All right. If you guys are doing kickboxing, you guys can come on the floor, stretch it out. Yeah, I'll give you what you need. Nah, it's good right there. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Um, is it that yellow stuff right there next to the window? This is. LA is awesome. This one's bleach with water. Whichever one works. We use this one. I'm sweating on it, so I don't want to stand it. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Are we doing it Monday? Oh, um, I think we're not going to have class on Monday because it's Memorial weekend. Be however you want to do it. Okay, yeah. I think I'll let you guys know if things change, but I don't think we're going to have class on Monday. If that's okay with you guys. Okay. But we'll have class on Saturday. No Sunday, Saturday. And I'll, re I'll remind you next week, but the two weeks after that, I'm going to be. I'm going to be. So, okay. So, okay. Come on. All right. And I'm out of town Saturday, so I'll see you a week from Saturday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks. That's why you weren't sure about Monday, because some people go out of town. Yeah, I mean, and I think you take it off and take a day off, you know? Because okay. people say they're going to show up, and I would show up if I said, but most people say they're going to. And they don't, they don't show up exactly. That's what happens. Okay. All right. What you got? What? Oh, it's this for mosquitoes? Like, I guess it's a gift for you and... In the school? It has two different settings. So it has this color. Oh, it's cool, like a fire. And it's solar powered. Oh, really? Yeah, so it doesn't waste your electricity. All you have to do is leave it out. Oh. Six hour charge every time. That's nice. Where'd you find this? Costco. Costco. <laughs>
Okay, shall I put it on now? Yeah. So I'm like not that. sure which setting works the best, but... I don't know. I would think the brighter one will work, but... It's something like... Mosquitoes see like a certain light. I have no clue. I don't know. But I'm going to use it. I'll test it. Yeah. I like both colors, but... Yeah. I still spray myself just in case. It took me all weekend to stop itching. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's called uh, waxwood. It's called waxwood. Waxwood. Chinese waxwood. Sure. It's not about being indestructible, huh? Dense. Yeah, but I mean, nothing's ever indestructible. But it's it's pretty good. It's flexible, is what it is. All right, Kaka, I'm moving you over to the thing. Kirby donut. It's gonna rain, I know, the thunder's coming to get him. Alright everybody. Oh, okay, cool, we got people here. Are you sure you don't want to fight at the Ikmak Prasanda? Do the, uh, there, there's not a lot of fighters is why. So it's like you don't have one fight. And it would be, I don't know. I don't want to say easy, <laughs> but it would be a good starter fight. That's what I'm trying to get at. All right, everybody. Lana, we'll talk later. If, if you're interested, if you want to do continuous, that's fine. Just. I have to do to make it up. There's a lot of, there's, I, I, I get emailed the other day saying there's not a lot of fighters, but they're trying to get fighters for it. So that means uh, if there's enough fighters, you're only going to have one fight is what it sounds like. So might not be uh, a bad idea at all. Feed together, tension. All right, you guys warmed up-ish, kind of? No? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's... Uh, Everybody put your gloves on. Let's work the bags for a little bit, actually. Let's warm up with the bags today. Fighters yet? They haven't sent me that yet. They just want to have two people in each weight class that they want. What, like seven weight classes? Something like that. But I don't know if it also means, because there's usually not a lot of girl fighters. So that's not fair if they're asking for two in every category, including, including yeah. That's going to be really hard to do, but at least two in every category for the men's, like, they can definitely pull that off, I think. I, and I think Alex could do really well if he wanted to. They say it increases to uh, five, or they haven't given you like an update. Or they haven't given me any update yet. But they said to wait for the blood test if you want. So 
until June 5th or something like that they want it. Because that's when they're going to decide if they're going to do it or not. If there's enough people. But at least for the eye exam, you need to do it anyway, yeah, so it's about. not a big deal. I want, the, I want it to happen. Alright, we need some, some kind of like music of some sort. I need to make some new playlists. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, you guys can all grab a bag. Uh, I'm gonna call combinations out to start with. Actually, before we do that, let's warm up a little bit. So you're gonna stand square. We're gonna throw a jab, cross, jab, cross. Nice and easy, warm it up. I'm gonna count as we do it. So ready? Uh, one. Two, jab, cross, jab, cross, four punches. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake your arms out a little bit. We're gonna go hook, 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 hook. So what I want you to do is I want you to start low. You're gonna hook to the body, hook to the head coming up. Both sides, one, two, one, two. All right, ready? One, hook, 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 hook. You can alternate sides as long as you throw all four hooks. Ready, so. One, two, three, four. Sun, one, two, three, four. Se. Wo. Lia. Chi. Ba. Jia. You okay? There's like rocks in the padding. It's not that, it's deteriorated. Ready, stop. There is no padding is what it is. Why are there rocks? <laughs> so. One more, one more, ready? So. All right, so kind of the same thing. You're gonna throw uppercut, uppercut to the body. We're gonna do it four times. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. You don't have to hit higher up because it's going to be a little hard to hit up. There is a way of doing it if you want to. You can come one and you can come up and kind of push forward. So the bag should move up as you do it. If you want to go up, you can. If you were actually doing the uppercut to the body, would it be more like solar plexus you're aiming for if you're coming in? So let's say the rib cage, right? You want to go under the ribs. So it's like in the organs. Because if you hit the rib cage, it's not going to be that bad. But if you go in here, Everything, the whole, yeah. So yeah, measure it, find out where you want to hit it, yeah. It's honestly, it's an underrated hit and it's disgusting when you, when you watch in the slow motion. And when somebody gets hit like that, everybody feels it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You get, ugh. All right, ready. Um, one, uppercut, 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 uppercut. Ready, two. Try to lift that bag up. Ready, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake your arms out a little bit. Okay, um, moving on. I'm gonna call combinations. So you guys have your hands up. I'll call the combos, we're gonna go from there. So if I say jab, you throw your left. If I say um, cross, you throw your right. Uh, if I say hook, it might alternate each side, so you'll, get, you'll kinda get the idea. All right, so ready. We're gonna do this for, let's say a minute and a half. Timer set. 
hands up. Always have your hands up. This is one of those things that people tend to drop either their right hand or left hand. If you get tired in the fight, you tend to drop your hands. Ready, jab, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Cross, hook. Cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, jab, cross. Cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Cross, hook, hook. Jab, jab. Jab, jab, cross. Cross, hook, hook. Jab, jab. All right, it's gonna be a little tricky. Jab, hook, same hand, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Cross, hook, hook. All right, cross, hook low, hook high. Jab, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross, hook, hook. Cross, hook, uppercut. Time. Okay. So next one. Um, I want you guys to throw in um, any front kicks, any roundhouse, any side kicks. So I'm going to call those out as well. All right, ready, hands up, fighting position. Ready, um, jab, jab, roundhouse. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Side kick, cross hook. All right, we're gonna try that one again. Side kick, cross hook, roundhouse. Ready, jab, jab. Jab, jab, roundhouse. Jab, cross, jab, roundhouse. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Roundhouse, roundhouse. Jab, jab. Keep those hands up, keep those hands up. Cross, hook, uppercut, roundhouse. Side kick, cross, hook. Jab, jab, front kick, cross, roundhouse. Jab, cross, jab, cross. All right, guys, shake it out. All right. One more thing we're gonna add into here is if I say knees, you're gonna grab the bat, you're gonna throw a knee and knee. Two knees immediately. All right, ready, hands up, jab, jab. Cross hook, grab knee knee. Jab cross, jab cross. Roundhouse. Cross hook. Jab side kick, cross hook uppercut. Roundhouse. Grab knee knee. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Ready, cross, hook, roundhouse. Side kick, cross, hook, roundhouse. Jab, lead leg roundhouse. Ugh. Let's do that one again. Jab, lead leg roundhouse. Cross hook uppercut. Jab, jab. Ready, side kick, cross roundhouse. Time.
All right, one more round, one more round. Same thing, I'm gonna call it out. Um, knees, roundhouses, all the kicks. Ready, begin. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Cross hook. Roundhouse. Roundhouse, roundhouse. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Side kick, cross hook. Cross hook, roundhouse, roundhouse. Let's try that one again. Cross hook, roundhouse, roundhouse. Jab, jab. Cross hook, grab knee, knee. Jab, jab. Side kick, cross hook, grab knee, knee. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Roundhouse left leg. Roundhouse left leg, roundhouse right leg. Jab, jab. Jab, hook, same hand. Cross, hook, hook. All right, time. Get a drink of water, guys. We're gonna fill out the room. I want everybody to, well, we're gonna all partner up, but we're gonna do uh, some conditioning today. Conditioning today. We haven't done that in a while, right? Conditioning, body conditioning. When was the last time we did body conditioning? Well, right, we Two Fridays ago. The ball? Okay. We need to do more. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you three do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Right. I'll do those two together. Huh? So Correct. <laughs> I like that. All right. So, so we're gonna line up with your partner. You're gonna have your hands up. They're gonna throw hook, 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 hook. You're gonna hit one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna do it one person for you guys, one person, switch, switch, rotate. All right. You two are gonna come over here. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do a little body conditioning today. It'd be okay. It'd be okay. <laughs> if, he, if he's too heavy, you hit him harder. No, I'm just kidding. Just tell him, tell him you're hitting. So you're gonna lift your hands up like that, right? So you, yeah, you can put it like that. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. And you wanna kinda go one, two, three, four, go up. One, two, three, four, okay? How hard? I know, you gotta tell him. He, he wants to bruise. He wants to like not be able to use the bathroom tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna set a timer again, okay, ready? When the bell rings, you guys can start. Ready, begin. How many, it's four hits, you're doing like a thousand over here. I thought we just keep going. No, four and then four, four and four, four and four. You hit him a hundred times already? One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, there we go. Stronger. Can you turn your head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. It gets the blood moving. This works your technique too, so you know how to get how to take the hit, but you know how to hit back. Okay.
Okay, so we work the body. All right, so um, we gotta work the center. I, you know, I thought about saying that, but I was like, eh. Work the center, so you're gonna stand, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, right in the middle, okay? And then we'll work the head. <laughs> I'm gonna reset the timer. You guys can start now. A little lower, a little lower. lower. Just a little bit. Yeah, right there, there we go. You don't want to go too low, but you don't want to go too high either. <laughs> Practice that breathing out as you get hit, so that way you get used to getting hit. Ash, ash, ash. Okay, so we worked, we worked the stomach, we're gonna work the legs. So you're gonna go one, two, three. So you're gonna throw a roundhouse, one, two, three, and then alternate. And then we'll switch legs on the other round, okay? All right. Is it what? His keys? Oh. I got, I got hands, I can do that. All right, I'm gonna put them so you don't lose them. <laughs> put them behind the desk. Bend the knee, you gotta make sure you bend the knee too. If you don't bend the knee, you're gonna feel it all in your leg. So yeah, so when, when he kicks, you wanna bend and come out a little. So you're, you're almost like you're going into it. Yeah, but when you squat down, the muscle flexes. If you go like on your, if you lift your heel up, it's gonna be squishy. He's gonna cut right through, right to the bone, and it's gonna hurt. So make sure you bend the knee, flex it. And you get to kick him. It's okay, he's, he's, he's young, he's a young guy. He's a young guy over here. When you throw the kicks too, make sure you work your technique where your hands are supposed to be. Train it like you're fighting, you know? So you're not dropping your hands, you're in a good position. All right, other leg now. Kick the other leg, if you haven't already.
So you're kind of kicking a little high. Kick here, one, two, three. So right under his shorts, a little higher, a little higher. You're kind of kicking his, his booty over here. That doesn't need to be conditioned. <laughs> there we go. One, a little lower, a little lower. There you go, right there. That was better. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Now you now you're doing it. Okay, so we work the outside. This is where it gets dangerous. You're gonna work the inside. You're gonna go where the knee is, right above it, the muscle, the quads, come up. So one, two, three. Not the no-no area. One, two, three. Make sure it goes sideways. One, two, three. Don't go one, two, three. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm pretty sure nobody will do that. Bend the knee, bend the knee, point the knee inward. Yeah, so turn in. This one hurts the most. Yes. That hurts. Yeah, yeah, it hurts, definitely. It's very sensitive. That's why you need to do it. <laughs> My Shifa was known to making fighters really strong. If he's hitting really hard, you can tell him, like, hey. I know. You know but go I a little less. I could take it again. Go a little less. I mean, he's, he's got he's the iron shin over here. I, I do not feel comfortable. Oh, yeah. Right through the middle. All right. One. Better. Yeah. Still hurts. Oh, yeah. Like there you barely go. kicking me, but it's Let's see where you're kicking him. I'm kicking with this because I'm used to... That's, that's good, down. that's good. You're supposed to hit with the shin. Yeah, I can't. The shin will hurt me. One. There you go. Two. A little higher. Yeah, there you go. See, that wasn't too bad. This works your accuracy. <laughs> a little softer, a little softer, a little softer over here. All right, other leg, other leg. So when he's kicking you, point your, your knee inward too. Inward? Yeah, that'll help you take the impact better. Okay. Bend the knee, flex it, in. Huh? Feet on the ground. Feet on the ground, yeah. If you, if you go like this, it gets squishy. So he cuts right through it, right to the bone. Bend the knee, go into it, squat into it a little. If you need to put your hand down there, you can. Bend the knee, come forward, come forward. Yeah, like that. Like that. Yeah, it's going to hurt either way, because you're conditioning it. You've got to bend the knee.
Okay. Everybody get a drink of water if you need it. If you don't need it, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what my dad said. Okay. Um, so we're going to work kind of the same thing. We're going to work drills. So with the three person, I'll kind of go over how that's going to work. But uh, what I want, is, want you guys to work first, we're going to go jab, cross, jab, roundhouse. Jab, cross, jab, roundhouse. So you guys are going to go back and forth. You guys are going to do the circle again. We're going to block the roundhouse? Block the roundhouse. You if you want to put shin guards on, you can. You want to catch it like this or like blocking it like we were like sparring? Like I want you guys to do it like you're sparring. Yeah, so hands are up. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. So that way you get used to hitting a target that's human, right? Because you can hit the bags, you can hit mitts, but in reality, if you're hitting mitts or you're hitting gloves, those hands should be out here. You don't want to hold your hands like this and get hit, but the person also moves. They don't just stand there. So when you're hitting, really try to move forward. Don't worry about the hands hitting, but the legs should try to make contact with the legs. So whenever you throw a fast combination, one, two, three, this leg is what really should be happening. Now, I'm not saying destroy the person's leg, but I'm saying make the contact, kind of like you were doing one before, and get used to when you see that kick is coming, boom, you block it or you lift that leg up. So you get that reaction time. All right, I'm going to reset the timer. Around, around, like a little carousel. Back and forth, back and forth. All right. First drill. Ready. You can work it out right now if you need to. But I'm going to start a timer in five, four, three, two, one. You guys can walk around a little bit, move, kind of feel like you're sparring. Boom. It's like throwing, he's like, ah, it's like throwing a log at you. Bend your knee, put the weight on it, or lift your leg up. So when, he, when, he, when he's kicking you, don't go like this. Lift your leg up or bend your knee and take the impact, okay? No, he's kicking you, bend your knee. If you don't, you're gonna feel it. Yeah, all right, continue. Oh, oh, oh. get him. There we go. So that was good, that one glove got in there. That's good, yeah. that's good. It slipped through, the crack. It slipped through the, his guard. The whole thing is looking better. That pace is a good pace, is what I'm getting at. It looks, it looks like you know what you're doing, you know? You're not rushing it. Okay. Um, so now, uh, we're gonna work jab, side kick, cross, hook, roundhouse. Jab, side kick, cross, hook, roundhouse. Yeah, everybody got that? I can go over it again. The jab, honestly, isn't important. The jab is just to get them, like, going up, you throw the side kick, then you follow with power. So, yeah, cross hook roundhouse. So, like if I'm here and I, I throw my jab, the idea is I'm doing that. Side kick, cross, hook, roundhouse. But you see how I'm moving around the person too. I'm not going jab, side kick, cross hook, roundhouse. Try to move around the person. Use the space. If you're in the ring, this is where situations happen where you can put them in the corner, you can kind of almost throw them into one direction, bounce them off the ropes, kick back. One day I'll, I'll, I'll take you guys to a place that has a ring or something and make it a lot easier. All right, ready? Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one, begin. This helps you train. This helps you get that feel. 
And you know what you do, what, what you're doing wrong, you can always fix it this way too. You're not gonna get a lot of push from my kick side. Cross, uh, hook, roundhouse. Ooh, okay, good, yes. That was good, all bone, right? Boom, right to there. It's good, it's good. That way you know you're alive. Cross, <laughs> side kick, ooh. Cross hook. Hook, roundhouse. Here you go. Hands up, jab, side kick. Oh, that was good. Now you gotta cross that <laughs> somehow. When you throw your hook, right? So you threw the side kick, boom, come down. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna replace my left foot with my right. So now I can, boom, I can choose what leg I want. Maybe I, maybe I throw this here, and I go, bah, instead, because he dropped his hand. Okay. You guys want to stay with this drill again? I think we need to do it again anyway. <laughs> This isn't easy to perform, but if you guys get this, it throws people really off balance. It throws people off when they, when they get hit. Cross hook. Woo, that's good. That's good, that's good. No. You choose where you want that roundhouse to go. Yeah. I saw the opening and then he... Yeah. You can go low, you can go high, you can go to the leg. You can go the other leg if you need to. Yeah. I had a board a couple times. You can watch a replay if you want. I do actually drop my arm when I when I hook. Yeah. Let's see it. I can see it again later. <laughs> I'm about it too much now. Yeah, I see that. Alright, do it one more time each. We're gonna go to another drill in a second. So when you throw your cross, right? Throw that cross, boom, right? Yeah. If when you throw your hook, you can't reach. If you go like this, you can only go so much. So what I want you to do is replace your foot. One, two. So now you're close enough to get that range. So now when you come with the hook, though, you're going to be too close to the uh, Not if you hook them. Okay. So if you hook them, I'm getting them. So yeah, if you hit them, that's what yeah. you're, you're not supposed to be like, eh. You hit, okay. you know what I mean? Boom, rah, you, you're hitting them. And I think worst kind of worst, if they ended up being close, you just turn into a knee. You turn into a knee, yeah. Roundhouse and knees are kind of universal. They kind of alternate between the two. All right, uh, next one. Hands are up. They're going to throw a jab at you. At, sure. He throws a jab at me. You lean back, right? As he throws that jab, you lean back. Boom, push. Then you're going to go one, two, roundhouse to leg. Almost the same way of doing it, but instead of you throwing the jab, he's throwing the jab. Boom, and you get that motion there. As soon as he moves back, if he doesn't move back, that's okay. But he throws that jab, whoosh, you get that, you follow through, one, ba, ba, <laughs> and you got everybody. All right, give it a shot, try it out. Front kick, work that front kick as he throw that jab. We condition the stomach, so as you throw that jab, be aware that you're gonna get kicked in the stomach, hopefully. <laughs> 
jabbing slowly. That's a cross, that's a cross. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. I mean, you can throw a cross either way, yeah. And then after he falls back, after I kick him. Cross, skip. What was the next move? Hook, roundhouse. Hook. Oh, okay, hey. Just like we did earlier. Oh, okay, hook, roundhouse. Cross, Nothing really changes, it, just, okay. yeah. Do it three times. Do it three times. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Push him, push him, push him. Okay, I will kick properly. Yeah, that's good. Do it five times. When when he punches at you, catch it with your glove. So he throws that jab, let it let it let him push you. So as he's yeah, as he's punching towards your face, let it push you and as it pushes you, you push your hips forward. Let his energy drive your kick back towards him. There you go. Cross, skip. So you're not skipping, you're doing this. Skip. Oh, full skip. Yeah, replace your left foot with your right. There you go, that's your hook. Now you have the position to throw the roundhouse. Okay, okay. So All right. Try it like that. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to do this, and then you fall over. <laughs> Cross, skip, choose where the roundhouse goes. There you go, there you go. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. You kick both legs? Huh? Did you yeah. kick both legs? <laughs> That's okay. Um, I still dropped my right. Yeah. Got the Knight Rider team all of a sudden. One more round, guys. The bell's about to ring in a few minutes, or one minute. We'll switch off to another drill in a second. Should have been to the head. Huh? That should have been to the head. Oh, the roundhouse? It's yeah. close enough. I didn't think I'd do much. Mm. He kind of got the top of the head. It's like he's dropping his hands. Woo! Oh! Tracing that flexibility, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. No, it's getting better. Yeah. Okay. Let's try next one. Uh, so we're, you're gonna be with your partner. Let's say I'm here, I'm gonna throw my jab, inside leg. One, two, three. Okay, so what's happening here is, as I'm throwing this jab, I'm getting him busy, going to the inside, I follow, I throw the hook, I can choose if I wanna kick to the leg, if I wanna kick to this leg, if I wanna kick to the body, if I wanna kick to the head. 
up to you guys, okay? Not all those at one time, but <laughs> not. So, does it make much difference when they have their hands right here guarding your head and you kick? I mean, does it really okay, do much? Like, will they feel it? Yeah. Hey, you feel everything. Do we get points for it? If they move. If they don't move, then nothing. I mean, you didn't hit them hard. But if they move back or they move around, then yes. Almost like pop, pop. Pop. One, two, yeah. Pop, pop. Skip, 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 skip. Choose your roundhouse. Boom. So this is where you go inside, outside if you want. Inside's more sensitive, so. You always kick the inside one. Alright. So I punch the top dad. <laughs> you kick it you kick it two times. It's <laughs> so one time, one time. The first one's inside, the second one's the other leg. You, you choose where that other one goes. You can't be like and throw like ten kicks or something. That's only in video games. Cross, skip, hook, roundhouse. Nice, very good, very good, that's it. Oh, that's a big dude right there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, just let it, let it come oh. out naturally. All right, I hope that's good, Woo. Keep that left hand up. That was a close one. <laughs> that was a close one. Okay, let's do that. He's bringing it down. Yeah, yeah, it's available. Alright, one more time, one more time. I want to make sure you guys got this. I, I've used all these drills which I showed you today, these are ones I've done. And I, I'll be honest with you, they work really well, so there's nothing wrong with doing them. So, you're having your hand like this? That means this is all exposed. If anything here is fine. I wouldn't say this is good either, <laughs> but it's better than it's better than here, because this, yeah, you know what I mean. So as you kicks, keep that other hand up too, because then once you could always throw your hands back. But if you're in here, yeah, yeah, have this one, this one here too. If he's kicking you, you want to make sure that one's up. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. Just want to make sure that's. If I end up like this, so I, I, I throw, I do my hook, and he, I'm this parallel to him. Yeah. And he's got both his hands here. I would. So, do the move. Yeah. So like I, um, I did. Boom. Boom. I came here. Boom. I moved here. Boom. Now I'm on this side of him. Yeah. And I was supposed to throw the round out. Yeah. But him, he had his, had like his, his he had like, his hand like yeah. this, yeah. So at that point, if I'm all the way over here, still just trying to put the head. Yeah, it's a blind spot because you really can't see what's happening. Yeah, that's why it's it's coming up. Hey, yes, sir. I'm watching my hand dropping all the time. When I'm doing the cross, should I come in and just start out with right here and then? Um, I'm, I'm trying to find a you way throw to the cross. Yeah. You're throwing the hook with the left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as the hook comes with the left, you should be in position. So, this can come all the way to here to throw that roundhouse afterwards if you need that, that leverage to twist your body. You know, but yeah, the hook is, you're skipping in right from there. Push with your legs, your body. 
เอาครับอัสมิ I'll watch in a second continue continue it's a little low it's better though it's better yeah it's a little low Yeah, keep that hand up. You, you just knead it up. All right. Okay, so you notice there's been like kind of a theme with this one, where we throw the cross, replace the foot, hook, follow with the roundhouse. What I want you guys to try now is something a little different. We're going to throw like you can throw a, a jab cross, we can throw a jab roundhouse. It doesn't really matter about the hands. What I really want you guys to focus on is you miss the kick. So you're kind of like in a position where the person's behind you. From here, I want you to throw the side kick. And you can follow with a cross hook, a roundhouse on the other side if you want to. So, what's happening is if I'm here, right? I'm throwing my hands one, two. I throw this leg. He steps back out of the way, and then as he's coming into me, I throw my my leg back into him. Boom! Follow up one, two, three. Keep that theme going if you like. But the idea that I really want you to focus on, you miss the roundhouse. What do you do? You do that, okay? This works surprisingly a lot, like like 90% of the time or 95% of the time, it will actually hit, and it hits really hard because the person is not expecting it. Because whenever you see somebody throw a roundhouse, you're like, oh crap, he's facing the wrong way. That's my opportunity to hit him, and they just come in and they try to swing at you, and you you're already primed, you're ready to go. All you got to lift a leg up and strike, and it's your stronger leg usually. Give it a shot, try it out, see how it goes. This this is like a really good move for a lot of people in the beginning. If you got a decent side kick, then it really works really well. You got to get him. <laughs> He's not gonna stand there like. But there's like a split second where like, what do I do? I gotta hit him, and that's what happens. Just like walk towards me and then I'll side kick you. Okay, got it. Okay. That's the my ability. Then from here it's the side. Side side kick. Oh, you spun all the way around? <laughs> Too much power. After it, so it's jab. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Right. Jab, cross, jab. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Get him. Okay, you got him. That's it. You're done. He steps back and he dodges. If he gets out of the way. I'm here, then he comes towards me, and I side kick him. Yeah. I land here, right? What well, now? so. supposed to be a cross. Yeah, so if I had short to be better. If I throw the roundhouse, he steps back. All right, I throw the roundhouse, he's gonna step back. I'm here. When I see him come towards me, boom, step. So you hit, step. Yeah. You gotta kick, chamber, step out. And then follow up, boom, boom, boom. That kick honestly will stun him for a second. Finish it. That's your opportunity, right then and there. Finish it. All right. Your foot stuck to the floor. Once I land the side kick, I, I, I land Step. the foot right here, right? That's where you want to be. So then, I'm right-handed though. So do I just still? Do yeah, this? you're still gonna do the other side. I know it's weird. This? Yeah. Then come here to the right. Yeah, you hit. Skip, boom, oh, boom. Left, like, oh, okay. so we have to You're on the other side. side. You're on the other yep. side. Wait till you see him come in. And when you come in, throw your cross. Like, go in, punch. Like, you're gonna go, ah, I got him. And you go punch or something. 
Don't just come in like this. All right, continue. <laughs> when you throw the side kick, chamber it and step out so it has that angle. So like if I throw the roundhouse, I'm like facing almost backwards. You throw that kick, step out so you can follow up. It just throw me off because I throw the side kick and then I end up southpaw. Yeah. And then I have to throw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You throw a southpaw, it's fine. You're going to hit one, two, three. It just three. messed me up for the thing when I was over. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. It's awkward. <laughs> I landed southpaw too, so. Yeah, you're supposed to. Oh, okay. You're good. supposed to land southpaw. It's okay. <laughs> right there, you grab and you throw knees. Boom. Cross hook, left cross, right hook, skip, skip, skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe. There you go. Hook. Knee, roundhouse, something. Well, use the left leg. Is the, op the opposite size what you're going to end up using? I, I, saw you right there. Like, I oh thought you were going to drop down and do a Johnny Cage for a second. Finish him. Cross, yeah, yeah. So after that side kick, right? If you throw your side kick, boom. See, I'm, I'm chambering. I hit a chamber. Now I can go opposite side, which is awkward for you, but it's awkward for him too. So keep that in mind that it's going to be like, whoa, he's on the other side now all of a sudden. All right. You guys want to do it one more time? Let's do it one more time because I know it is awkward switching, going to the other direction. One more time, one more time. You can slide in. I can slide in too. Yeah, so like if you're here, right, in your disposition, slide. Yeah. You want to crash into him. You don't want to miss the point if I run away. You want to come right after him. Yeah, but you want to punch him. He's saying once I miss the roundhouse, I'm vulnerable. So technically yeah, get him. Destroy him, kill him. I just thought it was exercise for him. All right, my turn. <laughs> okay, I'm not bad. Yeah, my knee. Skip. There you go. Hook. Jab. Hook, yeah, okay. roundhouse. <laughs> so all kinds of things coming out. Da, 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 da. Ten seconds, ten seconds. One more time, one more time. Okay. Okay. Next one. This is the last one we're gonna do. Um, the idea is I'm here, I throw the jab, he's going to move out, or I throw my front kick or side kick, whatever. If I throw a jab and he moves to the angle is the idea. Or if I throw my kick and he moves to the angle. Now I'm kind of crooked, you're going to turn, 
boom, throw the side kick. So what's happening is you're throwing your back leg side kick. You're turning. Bam. All right. After that, you can follow up with whatever you want. Same combination. Same combination if you like. So if I'm in here, I throw my front kick. Boom. He's over there. He's about to throw a punch at me. Boom. Same thing. One, two, bah. Follow up. All right. That's kind of the theme for today. Trying to get you used to getting to that angle, that side. All right. Give it a shot. Try it out. This is how you throw a back leg side kick. It's going to be a spinning back kick. Okay, so we'll back and you're going to oh, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to jab you and you're going to step this way. So at the dog. Okay. Kind of right? Nice. Yeah. This feels like a back kick. Yes. And I push. I and now follow up. Exact same thing we've been doing. Boom. Skip. Boom. There you go. You, you got to get out of the way though. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on over here. <laughs> if you don't look, most likely you're going to kick him in the groin, to be honest. So. I know it's awkward that angle. That is a tricky thing. That is a tricky thing not to get hit with the elbow. I didn't see it. That's what I want to work on. Not dropping that over. All right, one more bell. One more bell. Let's keep working this one a little bit. There you go. Better. Now, cross. Like, I feel like the wrists right there, I could have done like a core shot. I wanted him to go for the head. Yeah. He should be going to the head. Yeah. If you keep hitting the elbows, go to the head. But what happened was his elbows on the side. They're right here. I didn't see him like that. I saw like one right here on the side. Maybe one's there, but this one is yeah. still there. <laughs> so on the spinning back. Yes. First thing you do is you turn. Look at your target, slide if you have to. Slide. Yeah. Because if he moves back, you're not going to throw that. Slide. There you go. Now you follow up. What's happening is you're kind of rushing it, to be honest. You're rushing it. You're throwing the front kick. He's spinning you around. You're throwing immediately, almost like a hook kick. So your energy is getting to go that way. You want to turn and then, you know, propel yourself forward. You can do it like Bruce Lee where you cross the legs, whatever you need to do, you know, but, but you, you got to look first. 
If you don't look, you're not going to hit the target. And if you feel like you're crowded, then you can adjust that too. So like for you, Sean, when you do that, turn this arm more. Have it right there so you can see it. And then throw the kick. Yeah. Because right now what's happening is you're, you're coming only partial. And you want to turn it more. If you lift that arm up, it should follow you through more. Look, look first, look first. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like don't blindly kick. And that, that's what I told him. Yeah. If you blindly kick, you're gonna hit the groin. I, I guarantee it, it's what happens every time. Boom, turn, look, now kick. There you go. Follow up, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> All right, everybody. Every lineup, that's gonna be it for today. There's a lot of, lot of techniques, but you can tell there was a pattern. It's happening over and over and over. Um, we'll keep working on it. If you guys want to do a little sparring, you guys do a little sparring if you want at the end. Um, but it gets better and better. Feet together, attention. All right, guys, good job. All right, sir. I don't have any time to eat for it, though. Yeah. So, I was going to talk to you about that. So, he's really down that many fighters. Yeah, it sounds like it. I, I can, so, I can tell you the email that I, that I got. I can show it to you if you want. It sounds like there's not a lot of fighters. You know, I haven't been able to come in every Friday, so I'm losing my spot. I'm going on vacation right here, man. Yeah. The best I can get is three more sparring
All right, everybody at home, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.